how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i will be doing a full comparison between the android 12 that is running on my google pixel 5 versus the one ui 4 beta 3 that i have installed on my galaxy s21 plus basically this will be a comparison between the stock android experience with one of the best custom skin that is samsung one ui with that being said it is going to be a very interesting video so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one so drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first thing first, let's start off with the always on display. Now both these devices has support for always on display, but Samsung One UI offers a lot of customizations. Android 12 only has this option called show always time and info. But if I select always on display on my S21 Plus, here you can see it has a lot of different options that you can choose from. First, you can decide for how long you want the always on screen. You can select tab to show, show always, show as schedule and there is a new option which shows only for new notifications. Next you can choose from a variety of different clock styles and you can also add your favorite GIFs, stickers and even you can download themes from the Galaxy store to customize your always on screen. Not only this, it also allows you to show music information and even you can adjust the brightness as well. The only thing that I liked about Google Pixel 5 when it comes to always on display is this beautiful animation that you get while unlocking the phone. Even with the lock screen. Samsung has got some really good features and customizations such as you can change the position and the style of the clock. You can add some useful widgets in the lock screen which is definitely one of my favorite feature because I don't have to unlock my phone. I can see all the information directly from the lock screen itself and it even lets you add two of your favorite applications that you can access directly from the lock screen. With Pixel 5 you only get this big clock in the middle but I really like this now playing feature which automatically detects any music that is playing around you and shows you the name of that song in the lock screen. It is extremely useful and it works great on my Pixel devices. Overall, when it comes to lock screen and always on display, Samsung One UI 4 is the clear winner since it offers a lot more features and customization. Moving on to the home screen, now both these devices have support for dynamic theming, which means whenever you change or apply a new wallpaper, everything will change based on the color of your wallpaper. For example, if I change the wallpaper on my S21 Plus, based on the colors from your wallpaper, it will ask you to choose which color you want to set as the color palette. Not only this, you can also apply the same color to your app icons as well. Once it's done, you can see everything has been changed right from the accent color to your app icons. But when I press the volume buttons, it doesn't change the volume slider, you still get the same white color and even the stock Samsung widgets does not support dynamic theming. Let's hope Samsung will fix this in the stable release. Now if I change the wallpaper on my Google Pixel 5, it automatically changed the accent color, icons color, widget color and even the color of your volume panel as well. Guys if I open stock applications on both these devices, it also follows the dynamic theming that looks really good. Overall I think Google did a better job when it comes to material you design. Apart from this, I also like the widgets that we get in Android 12, they got this beautiful design these are adaptive widgets and they look really good on your home screen. Next, let's talk about the user interface and the system animations. The first difference you will see is in the notification panel. Android 12 now has this beautiful tiles layout which in my opinion looks really good and it is much easy to access all the quick toggles because of this new design. While Samsung One UI 4 still has this outdated design that I hope Samsung might change in the upcoming beta releases. Other than this, I still like the background blur that we get in One UI while swiping down the notification panel or even opening the app drawer. It looks better and makes the experience a lot premium. Next, if I go to settings, you can see One UI has better readability because of these vibrant icons. If I talk about settings in Pixel 5, it looks clean and has a minimal design. Similarly, when I open recent apps menu, Samsung One UI has this 3D look and you can also customize the look of your recent apps menu with the help of GoodLock application. You can completely change the way how it looks. But with Android 12, you only get this simple look in the task manager. But one feature that I really liked is you can directly share the link from the recent apps menu without the need of opening any application. This feature has been added with Android 12 and I think it is really useful. Overall, when it comes to user interface, I think Samsung One UI is still better than the stock Android because it looks more stylish and gives you a bit more premium experience. But Android 12 is very clean and has a minimal design that some of you might prefer. Finally, let's talk about the animations. Well, I really like the animations that we get in Samsung One UI and Pixel phones. They are really smooth and make the whole experience a lot better. But with Android 12, I think Google has done a better job 
because it has some beautiful animations that is still missing from the Samsung One UI. While opening apps and widgets, I think Android 12 feels slightly better and smooth. Let's hope Samsung improves the animation a bit further with this stable release. Apart from this, Samsung One UI offers a lot more advanced features such as the Dex support, Bixby routines and you can also download GoodLock and take your Galaxy device to the next level. But we have to admit Google did a great job with Android 12. Once you start using Pixel devices, you will love the animations, material you design and the automatic theming as well. So that's pretty much it guys. This was a comparison between the Android 12 with the Samsung One UI 4.0. Let me know in the comment section which skin do you prefer. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.